Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, I've got to give a shout out to Brian and Jordan over at the Bourbon Pour. I was watching their video on the James E. Pepper Decanter series, and you know, I just kind of mentioned that, hey, I never had it, and they were gracious enough to bless me with a sample. So, shout out to you guys. If you guys have not been over to their channel, go over there and check them out. Uh, but they are the reason why I am able to bring you this Sunday sample video. I am not sure just yet how I'm going to do these videos if it's gonna be every week or if it's gonna be every other week. So, you know, I'll just kind of make my mind up as we go along. But anyway, no one won the hat from the Hemingway video. So I said that it was a three digit number between 100 and 200. What I did was I added up the R, the Y, and the E, which came out to be 48. So the number was 148. So we're gonna try it again. So just put the word hat and a number between one and 200. Uh, no, we'll, we'll clean that up between 100 and 200 in the comments and win yourself a bourbon drop hat. Now let's get into the sample. So the James E. Pepper decanter, it is five and a half years old. Uh, it comes in at 105.4 proof. It's actually three grains, but it's made up of four different selections of those grains. And I'll explain here in a second. So you've got corn, you've got rye, you've got malted barley, then you've got malted rye. Now, the way to think about a malted rye is just think of moistening a grain until it starts to germinate, which basically means sprout. Then it creates these enzymes that actually break down the starches and convert those starches to sugar. So instead of just having the rye grain itself, now you've got a moistened, slightly sprouted <laughs> rye grain. So you go ahead and distill those as well. All right, now that I've got that out of the way, let's get into the nose. Okay, okay, little, little, little oaky and cherry on the nose. I'm kind of liking that so far. Little oaky, little cherry on the nose. Ooh. I don't expect it to hit me with a lot of ethanol because it is, like I said, 105.4 proof, but that is a very nice, almost like a cherry slash strawberry cream on the nose. That's a nice nose. That's a really nice nose. Let's get into the palate. Right away, honey, caramel, the cherry doesn't really transfer over. It's it's light. It's like it sits. Well, I, wow. Okay. <laughs> it was light. It was sitting in the background. Now all of a sudden, on the mid, it's just picked up and just ramped up. It's a it's a little thin. I'm, well, I don't want to say it's thin. It's like thin to medium, um, which is not bad. It's it's still not bad. But you know. You can get this bottle for anywhere between, I think it was like 59, basically 60 bucks and 70 bucks, the websites that I saw it on. Um, let's get back into the nose one more time because Brian, uh, I think it was, I think it was, it was either uh, Brian or Jordan, either one. One of them said that the nose was better than the palate and they said they picked up a little licorice. Now I am the guy that when I pick up licorice, it's kind of off-putting to me um, unless it's like very light. So let's get back into it one more time because it's finishing with a little bit of chocolate. I'm not picking up that licorice just yet. We'll get back into the nose. All right, on the second sip, like I said, off the bat, you've got honey, you've got caramel, kind of light, a little woody. It's a little woody, a little dusty in the mouth. At 5.5 years old, it doesn't taste young at all. It's actually, it's actually coming off really nice. That cherry that's in the middle of the palate though, I am really liking that, really liking that. Then it just kind of fades away, a little bit of leather, turning into a little bit of a dark chocolate now. Oh, okay, dark chocolate's getting stronger, dark chocolate's ramping up. I am actually liking this thing. All right, so look. This concludes Sample Sundays. Once again, hat in the comments with a number between 100 and 200. Shout out to Brian and Jordan over at the Bourbon Pour, and I definitely think this one is one worth picking up. Till next time.